Good day class. In this video, I will introduce you to inverse kinematics and its advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so inverse kinematics is the same with the forward kinematics. They are used, it is used to, um, to make the mechanical manipulator move. The difference is at forward kinematics, the given inputs are the joint variables, okay? And using the homogeneous transformation matrix, we will get the output, which is the position vector. In inverse kinematics, the given is the position vector, while the output is the joint variables, okay? And the uh, method of uh, deriving or achieving the joint variables varies depends on the difficulty of the designed mechanical manipulator okay so another uh, differences uh, another difference of uh, forward kinematics to inverse kinematics is the motion uh, done by the forward kinematics in forward kinematics okay if you are familiar with the robot dance okay, that is how forward kinematics motion looks like okay a robot uh okay, a robot uh, dance okay, a ro or a robot movement a literal robot movement okay so if you already saw a robot dance so it is the mo it is uh, it looks like the motion of uh, forward kinematics okay so okay let's find another example okay so if you notice in a robot dance each joint of the dancer or each movement of the dancer uh, came come from its joints okay come from its uh, joints and the uh, motion is not that coordinated okay while in inverse kinematics okay so this is the robot dance or this is uh, literally how a robot move well in inverse kinematics okay the motion uh the motion of inverse kinematics is like how a normal uh, human motion is so the, the normal motion of a human arm is mimicked or copied using the inverse kinematics okay? so forward kinematics is uh, commonly used for identifying the limits of our joint variables so it is uh, used in industry to identify the limits of the joint variables so that it will not uh, crash to the other parts of the mechanical manipulator or it will not crash to other part to other machines while inverse kinematics is used in industry to mimic the motion of a human arm okay so we use inverse kinematics to transfer the, the intelligence of uh, moving like a, a moving like a real human okay another thing forward kinematics is used for obtaining trajectory solution inverse kinematics is used is also used for obtaining the trajectory solution but uh it is uh, easier if we use the forward kinematics in obtaining the trajectory solution. So the trajectory solution will be discussed in robotics too. Okay. So 
For inverse kinematics, inverse kinematics is used for detail, detailed positioning of end effector. Okay? So, forward kinematics is not uh, used in industry for uh, for pick and place uh, pick and place uh, motion or welding motion or uh, painting motion it is inverse kinematics which uh, they use okay to do the industrial uh, job like painting welding and uh, etc okay so it is used for detailed positioning of end effector so that it can uh, so that the mechanical manipulator okay, does it work properly. So the advantage of forward kinematics over inverse kinematics is that it is easier to solve. Okay? It is easier to solve if you notice from the forward kinematics video, what you just need is to derive the homogeneous transformation matrix, which is in not that hard because of the shortcut method by the parametric table and once you have the homogeneous transformation matrix you may just substitute or you may just uh, substitute the values of the joint variables and the link lengths to achieve the position vector okay so the reason why it is easier to solve is it is standardized, okay? Standardized by uh, Denovit and Hartenberg. And also, it has only one real solution. So, even though it is standardized by, uh, by Denovit and Hartenberg using the parametric table, even you use... The, because even you use the rotation matrix and the position vector derivation method, which is the long method, it will always uh, arrive at the same real solution. Okay? So that's why forward kinematics is e easier to solve. While inverse kinematics is difficult to solve. Okay? It is difficult so to solve because number one, it has nonlinear solutions. So what does nonlinear solutions? Okay. If we look at the homogeneous transformation matrix, position vector column, okay, this is the this is the uh, homogeneous transformation matrix from okay, from this example, from these two degrees of freedom, mechanical manipulator. Okay. the position the element or the coordinates of the position vector has trigonometric function okay it has a it has a equation that has trigonometric functions and trigonometric functions are not linear so because of nonlinearity we cannot solve this using the rules of algebra okay we cannot uh, solve it uh, faster or much easier using the simple rules of algebra <clears throat> but there is a way but uh, it could it will uh, take a uh, very long uh, it would take time to solve okay? unlike uh, unlike the forward kinematics which has the short method and easier to uh, to sub to just substitute the joint variables so it's it is the reason why it's it is the first reason why it, this is a, this is very hard okay the inverse kinematics another one is it is not standardized okay unlike the forward kinematics forward kinematics is standardized so what does that on uh, what does that also mean is for uh the solution depends on the design of the mechanical manipulator. If the mechanical manipulator has a difficult design, okay, it will cause a difficult solution of inverse kinematics. Okay? So that's why I'm telling from the start that you need to design 
your uh, your mechanical manipulator as simple as possible. Okay? Next. Another reason why uh, inverse kinematics is uh, harder than or more difficult than than uh, forward kinematics is because there can be no solution or there can be one or more solutions okay so that's the most difficult part of uh, solving the inverse kinematics if you have a very difficult design if you have a very difficult design your inverse kinematic solution can be have uh, can have no can uh, be no solution can be no solution or there can be one or more solutions so you cannot uh, just uh, just uh, arrive at only one real solution okay so but we still need to study inverse kinematics even though it is the most uh, difficult part of the robotics design okay <coughs> Because inverse kinematics is much uh, used than forward kinematics at industrial setup. Okay. So, example of uh, inverse kinematics application is the detailed uh, positioning of the end effector. So, I am giving you an example from YouTube. So, from a uh, surface mounting technology uh, plant. Okay. An SMT plant is where you is where the PCB is mount is mounted with the electronic parts. Okay. The SMT robot. Okay. SMT robot. So this is SMT robotics or how the SMT process is done. Okay, so it's, it has a, it has a, okay, that is SMT. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 let's have a better video. Okay, okay, so we have Fujitsu company here in, in the Philippines at the Laguna. <laughs> At Laguna, at Sant I think Santa Rosa Laguna, and I think it also has a plant at uh, Batangas. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is ha this is an example of SMT robot. Okay, most of SMT robot is Cartesian manipulator, but not all. Okay, so what this does is uh, it mounts the electronic parts above the printed circuit board. Okay, so inverse kinematics is uh, much used here because the electronic parts are very small part, are very small components. Okay, so you need a detailed Okay, uh, detail the uh, series of solution, okay, to make your robot mount those electronic components on the printed circuit board. So, it has a camera that uh, takes the pitch, takes the uh, image first of the printed circuit board. And when it is processed, once it is processed, okay, it will uh, already pick and place the electronic component. So it looks like that. So it's very fast. Okay, so they use the inverse kinematic solution to make this uh, possible. Okay. So if you if you will work in a surface mounting technology plant at the at Laguna or at uh, Santo Tomas Batangas or at Lipa so this is uh, what it looks like okay 
So they use the uh, inverse kinematics here for detailed positioning of the end effector. Okay. So that's the difference between forward and inverse kinematics.